The Santomir was a Soviet-guided artillery shell. This weapon is similar in concept to the USM-712 Copperhead. Designation of the baseline version is 30F38. This guided shell was simple in production. It was designed to engage tanks, armored vehicles, buildings, bunkers, field fortifications, and various other high-priority targets. During the 1980s Soviet 152mm artillery systems such as the 2S3 Akatsiya self-propelled howitzer were upgraded in order to be compatible guided shells. The Krasnopol can be also launched from an old D-20 field howitzer. In the 1980s the centimeter guided shells were used during the Soviet war in Afghanistan. It is unclear how many of these guided shells are in Russian armed forces inventories, though it is believed that the numbers are very small. It is a high explosive fragmentation HEFRAG, shell. Maximum range is 12 km. The Santomi reuses inertial guidance at mid course of its trajectory in order to maintain its ballistic arc. At terminal phase, it uses semi active laser homing. These guided shells require external laser designators. The target must be illuminated with the laser designator in order to achieve an accurate hit. Once the laser signal is detected the onboard guidance system will maneuver the projectile to the target. This allows frontline troops to call in fire missions on specific high-priority targets and destroy them by a single shell. This could be for example a particularly problematic enemy pillbox. Also the use of such guided munitions allow to reduce damage to friendly forces and civilian structures. Laser designator had to be located no further than 7 kilometers from the target. In reality this range was even shorter. The original LCD-1, also referred as 1D-15, laser designator was rather hefty and had a weight 60 kilograms. It could be assembled into a couple of components for carrying. It was carried by two spotters. This team also carried radio and synchronization device. Eventually, it was replaced by more modern 1D20, 1D20M, 1D22, LCD3M1, LCD5M laser designators. For example, the 1D20M laser designator is significantly lighter and had a weight of 18 kilograms. The centimeter shell engages its steering mechanisms at a range of 600M from its target. The target is illuminated by a laser beam for just 1 to 3 seconds. Even if the guidance is lost the shell continues its flight path and acts the same as an ordinary unguided shell. The centimeter has a claimed hit probability against a stationary target of 90%. It is an impressive result. Though in some cases more than one shell has to be launched in order to achieve a successful hit. Soviets considered that it might take up to three centimeter guided shells in order to destroy a single target. And it was considered completely acceptable.